women and girls in Afghanistan have faced significant obstacles in their day-to-day -day lives. Barriers to education, health care, and economic opportunity, as well as significant challenges to their human rights, limited their ability to actively participate in their communities. And for those women and girls living in isolated and rural communities, these challenges were even more significant. Afghanistan has the highest maternal mortality rate in the world. One woman dies every 29 minutes due to pregnancy-related complications. Afghan women also have some of the lowest literacy rates in the world. During the last decade, things have begun to change. Thanks to the dedication of Afghans and with the support of countries such as Canada, there are now opportunities for Afghan women and girls to overcome some of these obstacles. Through support from partners such as UNICEF, Canada has helped improve access to health care by increasing the number of female health care workers and health care facilities in Afghanistan. Today, 66% of Afghans can reach primary health care services within a two hours walking distance, a significant improvement from only 9% in 2000. Also, thanks in part to organizations such as the Aga Khan Foundation of Canada and BRAC Afghanistan, there are more female teachers trained than ever before, allowing girls to attend school. Meanwhile, projects that support literacy training and skills development mean that more women and girls learn to read and obtain new skills in marketable trades. On so many levels, Afghan women are playing a more visible and active role in Afghan life. With the support of Canada, UN Women and the National Democratic Institute, female participation in politics has increased. In the 2010 Afghan parliamentary elections, 406 women ran for election, a record number. Today in Afghanistan, women make up 27.7% of Afghanistan's parliamentarians. Women also play an active role in the decision-making process for their communities. It is inspiring to witness the pivotal role that women play in Afghan life, empowering themselves and future generations of Afghan girls. And while we recognize this progress, we should also bear in mind that there is still much work to be done. Therefore, improving the lives of women and girls will continue to be a central focus of Canada's work in Afghanistan as we help advance their rights and welfare and support their voices.